all right guys i hope all is well this is my very first client that i had the honors of decorating her place and this was an absolute favorite project um, even though i don't have many as far as like once the business came about um but it's my favorite because if you got the intro um to the video leading up to this one i was super excited uh, because i know this young lady this young lady has just blossomed into a beautiful woman and this was literally her first place when she was out on her own and i had the honor so um this is literally the whole process the before the after well the during uh, as you can see this is the construction phase um you know literally just putting in blood sweat and tears well, not blood, but you know what I mean? Like I was putting in a lot of effort, uh, building a lot of the pieces myself, just wanting to ensure that everything was just done correctly and super pleased with aesthetics. Um, you know, I just wanted her to have that vibe where she can just go home and just relax after a long day of work and just be able to have that peace of mind. So stay tuned. I will walk you guys through the before and the during as I stated. And um, yeah, let's uh, continue on with the video. Thanks for tuning in. By the way, guys, so you guys can see here at this point, we're literally in like, you know, putting together, I want to say construction phase. But fun fact, I originally wanted to have a bed uh, face, well, leaned up against the window side, if you see like in the earlier part of the video. Uh, however, the landlord was very nervous of the bed being by the heater, even though I knew better, like it wasn't gonna be on the heater. It had some good distance even when I first had it placed on. Uh, but because of their tenants downstairs had like a fire, they were really concerned about that. They didn't want anything up against the heater. So we had to move the bed to this side of the room, but I still made it work. I love how it came out. I feel like it came out very uh, cozy, luxurious. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? And what would you guys have done differently? Let me know in the comments below. This is one of my favorite parts. I had to become creative, you know, thinking of how to get a full angle. And so you guys have an idea, this is literally the before and the after. Um, but I wanted to really, truly capture the, the space. And it's so much more beautiful in person. Pictures do not do it justice. Uh, but I wanted to just have a luxurious feel, as stated before. And I was trying to get these angles. I was trying to take it from any, any and every position possible that my little 5'3 self was able to see. So I hope you guys appreciate uh, the photos. And this dresser here, she didn't get the TV yet. But just so you guys know, there's going to be a little TV placed here. So she doesn't have to always go in the living room to watch TV. If she wants to catch a little show and just lay in bed, she'll have that flexibility to do so. And this wall is on the opposite side of the room. Um, so I found these nice little art pieces I believe was from Amazon. I'll try to link everything below. But I just felt like it was that perfect balance from what we're seeing now across the room with the three beautiful um, old pieces. Oh yes, now to the living room. I absolutely love this fireplace. I did end up having someone come help us build this because that was a doozy. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of the before and just getting everything put together. That fireplace is absolutely amazing. It's not only a fireplace, um, a full fireplace, it is also a heater. So if you don't want to turn on the heat throughout the whole house, you just want to be cozy and comfy in your living room, I highly recommend it. And it really kicks off a lot of good warmth. Um, it works and it's just stunning. I absolutely love it. I think that's my favorite piece. Well, I say that about every piece throughout this whole um, space, but I really love it. I feel like that just made that luxurious feel. side of the living room um this is a sectional that we got from wayfair you don't have to be afraid of suede honestly there's a lot
lot of hacks that you can do to protect your beautiful piece. Um, and Scotch Guard. Scotch Guard is a no-brainer. You spray it on. If you spill anything on it, you can just easily wipe it off. Uh, but this sectional was super affordable. It's very luxurious looking and has that nice gold details in the leg and it kind of very cohesive if you notice on the tables we have the gold and also on the curtain rods and just look how beautiful it ties with this lovely fireplace didn't want to overwhelm the space with too much and I felt like these three little sea urchin pieces was just like the right amount of touch just to like it reminds me like a, of an asterisk um but just like chef's kiss like, like you don't have to go ham crazy sandwich you don't have to put an art piece on every single wall every single wall does not have to feel cluttered or have something on it you can have a plain wall and just put a little tiny touch and it just does enough for it to basically accentuate this space and my favorite so this is where you know that you're in a grown sophisticated place because you have this beautiful bar cart of course is in theme with the gold luxurious we have the feathers that i have throughout literally the whole apartment you have your wine glass bottles and those books at the bottom of the bar cart fun fact i had that custom made um for my client and her name is whitney and it just i don't know just i feel like it just elevated the space it just took it up a notch um if you ever see those expensive fashion books or coffee table books you don't have to break the bank you can make them yourself you can order them you can go on etsy a lot of uh, people on etsy make them and the just love is absolutely stunning all right guys so that wraps up this week stay tuned for next week's reveal